Hello everyone and welcome to Russia, Moscow. It's a country of tanks and the Kalashnikov. My name's Dennis and this is the channel called Enthusiast because we are enthusiastic about Russian guns. Soyuz I will be introducing to you my new rifle, new gun. This is the almighty, glorious SVD. One bullet, one hit. Needless to explain that the SVD is originally a sniper rifle and it is required to fire at the range with some significant precision to eliminate the designated target. This is a hunting version in 9.6 by 53 Lancaster new Russian caliber. I love it very much, nearly more than anything else. It's a real man-type, robust, hard-kicking, semi-auto action not a rifle, but a shotgun. So it's probably the world's first sniper shotgun. Five bullets, five hits. No significant aiming. The difference between the original SVD and this uh, shotgun is that it, its magazine holds only five rounds. Because of the shape of the bullet, you can't really accommodate uh, a much thicker bullet into a standard um, SVD magazine, which uses 762 by 54 R. Otherwise, it is the SVD and it's made in the same factory by the same people from the same materials in our 21st century, just introduced to the market last year and fall of last year. And I already have it. Lucky me. Come over to play. This is how I see my target at 300 meters through the scope. It's pretty comfortable, pretty precise. Of course, you can't fire a uh, sub minute. <laughs> uh, but you can try. Otherwise, it's a standard SVD. Um, nothing's wrong with it. Uh, you can assemble, disassemble that. In order to disassemble, you have to remove the scope, and it's very easy mountable. The scope frame is actually milled out in the receiver, so no wobbling, nothing. It doesn't move anywhere. It's a piece of hard metal. Remove the magazine, check the chamber, no bullets in, then you have to press down to the very end this lever, remove the cover with the spring. The spring is not actually removable, so it stays with the cover. Then you have to remove the bolt with the bolt carrier. That's it. Basically, Oh yeah, I mean, you can actually do one more thing. You can remove the mechanism. Very nice and easy design, so you can clean that with uh, your, you know, <laughs> your cotton balls. Ah, still hot. But I'll show you how to disassemble that. Press it down. Slide forward, move the whole thing up, which is holding the two parts, the side parts of the grip. Then you have to like open up sideways the grip, and it comes out, or comes off. Pardon me, my French is not so good yet. That is basically it. Uh, you've got what? It's, it's the, the rod 
also removable. Ow! Pardon me, it's so very hot with the recoil spring and the piston. Ow! Meow! Meow! That. Ow, it's loop. That's it, nothing else. Very easy, robust, good looking, shining lady. <laughs>